In this video, I'm going to be replacing the grill on the Freightliner Cascadia. The reason I'm replacing this one, it's uh, broken from here. And the bug screen, it's all loose already. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. Here I have the, the new part. This is an aftermarket part. I got this one on Amazon. The only thing is that it doesn't come with the Freightliner emblem, but I'm gonna be using the the one on, on this grill. I'm just gonna remove this one and put it into this one. Um, I, I bought this one for like around $260. I'll try to leave the link in the description in case you wanna buy one. It already comes with the bug screen. Uh, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the grill. It only takes uh, a 30 Torx. And it only has four bolts. It has one right here, one here, one right here, and one on this side right here. And some, some grills have double tape, like around here in this area. So in case you can't you can, uh, pull it out, just make sure you check if there's double tape and maybe you can use a, a blade or something to cut out the, the double tape. As you can see, the new grill, it has the double tape right there. I don't think I'll be using this double tape in case I need to remove it some other day. Then I don't have to mess around with that tape. I'll just unclip it and the grill should come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the four bolts. So the four bolts are out. Now all I gotta do is pull the grill up and the clip should release. So to remove the emblem, you have to remove these clips on this, on this back side. As you can see it has this little clips so you're gonna need a pick something like this and you have to just get into the into this clip and pull it out You can also use one of these tools to remove the, the clips. All you have to do is pry, pry it like this. All you have to do is pry it. So that one's out. So I'm gonna remove the middle one. So I'm going to put back the emblem. As you can see, one of the clips broke already. So I'm just gonna use this too. Here I have the, the security clips. So I'm just gonna push it in with the, this tool. Get it all the way in. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side.
clip went in already. So I'm just gonna push it in using this one. So the emblem is in already. So now I'm gonna mount it to the to the hood. So here I have the new grill. I put the emblem already. As you can see, it's all clipped in now. It won't fall off. So now all you gotta do is align it to the clips. The clips going to this holes right here. So it's four clips. These are the clips that you gotta align to the hood. And the double tape, it's up to you if you wanna use it. If you do wanna use it, you just gotta peel the, the red part out and it'll stick into the to the hood but I'm not gonna use the double tape in case I want to remove it some other time so you gotta do just align it to the hood so right there it looks like it goes on place so you gotta do now is pull it down So once you align the four clips to the holes on the on the hood, you just gotta press the, the grill down. I had a little trouble getting the holes aligned just because the clips were not straight where the holes were. But uh, once the clips go in, it looks pretty good. As you can see right here, it aligns pretty good. Right here is, you can see, probably the original was a little a little closer to the to the edge right here but even though still still looks good from from the bottom this is just dirty for my hands so all I gotta do now is put the, the four bolts as you can see they align too to the to the bushings There it goes, the grill is in. This is how it looks. So thanks for watching.